have a permanent home. They are the three million photographs that recorded our local news history from the 1930s right to the 2000s. The Courier Journal's vast photo archives had been a source of concern after the newspaper's downtown building went up for sale recently. But as 19 photojournalist Alyssa Newton shows us right now tonight, the Courier's parent company Gannett is donating the treasure to UofL with a donation from the paper's founding family, the Binghams. The University of Louisville is proud to announce the acquisition of the Courier-Journal Louisville Times Photographic Archive. To say the journey has been long to get the Courier-Journal photo collection to us is an understatement. We estimate for there to be about three million prints, sheet negatives, negative frames, and slides, and it essentially doubles the holdings of the photographic archives. This bountiful and rare resource is named the Barry Bingham Jr. Courier-Journal Photographic Collection in recognition of Barry Bingham Jr.'s impact on photojournalism at the Courier Journal and Louisville Times. There's simply no better way to honor his enduring legacy as a newsman than by securing this brilliant, powerful, historic collection created over the years, day by day, and frame by frame, by this incredibly talented team of journalists. I've had many sleepless nights over the fate of the uh, Pat, like other CJ photographers, understands the true significance of preserving this archive. And if it weren't for his tireless dedication, we may have never gotten to this point. For all these years, I knew what was in the archive, and I knew it was a unique visual history. Unlike anything else that, that's out there of, of the city, the state, the surrounding area, and, and major events around the world. All range of people can come and access it. and. He would have just loved that. Everyone is part of history, and this is one of the ways we see ourselves through history. So now I sleep well at night. I'm not worried about the archives because I know they're in great hands. Thank you all. That's longtime photojournalist Pat McDonough there, who's nearing 40 years at the Courier Journal. Well, Barry Bingham Jr. was the last publisher of the family media empire, which included WHS television, before the companies were sold in 1986. He was himself an amazing photographer. Now, they're also asking for additional donations to help with organizing, digitizing, and then displaying the collection to you. If you'd like to help, click on this story at WHS11.com and learn more about it.